Hello, I'm Matt Hoots with Rated Green, and I've got a treat for you today. Two of our Rated Green members have put together this presentation on how to design and build with stone wool insulation. This is a recording of a webinar that was promoted by my friend Dan Edelman with Rockwool Insulation. The presenter is Chris Lomergins with LG Squared. Hello, and welcome to Rockwool's webinar with Chris. Lummer Giddens on designing and building high performance homes with Stonewall. My name is Dan Edelman. I am the key account manager with Rockwool, working with builders and contractors nationwide. Without anything further to do, I would like to turn it over to Chris to begin his presentation. Take it away, Chris. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Dan, can you hear me okay? Yes, you are crystal clear. Great. Great. Thanks. Well, uh, welcome to the welcome to this webinar. It's a, a real pleasure to be uh, talking to all of you um, from around the uh, from wherever you might be. Um, this is going to be a um, presentation about designing and building with stone wool. And uh, I was uh, glad to be invited to present this to you. This is based on a lot of experience that we have uh, using this product, but but we'll talk about, I want to go through the, the sort of the journey that we uh, went through to get to where we are today and, you know, how, and then a, towards the end, we'll get into um, uh, some case studies and what we've done showing you the projects that we've worked on. So, uh, and we'll look forward to your questions at the end. So, um, I am uh, one of two people of LG Squared. Uh, my wife, Jody, started the business in 2006 in Florida. She uh, started doing renovations, additions, and new construction in the uh, Tampa area. And things were going really well until about 2008. Uh, I was working with a, a high-rise condo, condo firm down there, and you know the economy took care of that. And we were I was out of work and Jody was still, you know, hanging on to the business for a bit. And then um, we found our way to Atlanta where things were still going a little bit. And then we, uh, in about 2010, uh, the firm I was working for uh, felt the effects of the uh, downturn and uh, had to let me go. And I, I met um, a local a building science uh uh, or a, a retired physics professor uh, by the name of Allison Bales. He has a company called Energy Vanguard. I worked with him for about uh, two years and did a lot of uh, lot of residential HVAC design and building science consulting and did a little bit of helping with some of the education there. And that really kick-started a lot of getting into the high-performance uh, world of construction and uh, I've I come from, I've got my degrees from University of Colorado, Hawaii. Uh, those are all architectural degrees. And I, I grew up as a builder's son. Uh, he, we built a few homes together and he taught me a uh, belts and suspenders approach to absolutely everything. So if there were two or three ways to do, you know, to brace a wall, we would do, we would do them all just because we wanted, and he was, you know, a lot of the houses, a couple of the houses we built were for ourselves. So he was always teaching me how to uh, strap it down and make sure that thing doesn't go, doesn't move. And that, that ties into high performance and durability uh, quite, quite well. Um, so once I finished, uh, finished college and uh, we went out to, to Hawaii and got some historic preservation education there. And then when I was uh, in Atlanta, when I was working with Allison, uh, got my HERS training, which is uh, it's a rater training that helps uh, it rates homes and you get into blower doors and HERS certifications and that. And then you uh, also did some earthcraft rating for a while. A lot of HVAC designs throughout the world. I've gone into the Bahamas, uh, Canada, um, outside of the U.S., but most of it primarily in the U.S. And then uh, really did a lot of consulting with building science. You know, worked with architects, uh, homeowners, builders, and did that for a while until things really started to pick up uh, in, and people were looking to build from scratch. And 
so they they sought out our company LG Squared to design these homes, and we were designing high performance homes that nobody really knew how to build. So our uh, clients were asking um, were asking us, "Hey, who can build this?" And we you know we talked around, and we decided, "Well, I'll just get my builder's license." And so we started building these, and that's what we've been doing ever since. Uh, so I've been in, interested. I wanted to do construction and architect, you know, being an architect from from day one. Uh, building science has become my niche, my specialty. Uh, we have a rec, you know, our blog and YouTube channel talk a lot about the building science of what we're doing, and uh, and so we're we continue that to today, and it seems to be very useful. A lot of our clients come to our come to meetings and they they know more about my videos than I do uh, they've just they've studied they do these a lot of the clients are very into their research and we get a few engineers here and there and they just love the idea of something that can last a really long time uh, so that's a little bit history there of LG squared and where we are today and uh, we'll get into uh, this presentation now we this basically we're um, to, uh, this presentation is it is uh, hosted by Rockwell, and uh, basically what they're saying here is that uh, we were not. Uh, my opinions here are my own, and that uh, I was not influenced by the Ducati motorcycle, the iPad Pro, or the lifetime supply of fruity pebbles sent to me by Rockwell, and that uh, Rockwell doesn't necessarily endorse my company, my views, or me unless. Uh, I talk about their their product so uh, or you can just read the screen and that's really what this disclaimer is so let's have some fun and let's uh, learn something here so like I said we haven't always done high performance homes and uh, we we started getting into this as I said with uh, in my in about 2010 when I started learning about building science uh, more and it, it was it sort of became a uh, fairly intuitive for me. I, most of the principles were straightforward. Uh, physics was a struggle for me in college, but uh, I certainly, um, in terms of how physics applies to construction uh, and, and a lot of the science behind it, I really uh, just had no, I was able to do it fairly quickly, uh, understand it. And so uh, the first home we did uh, that I've that I worked on was when I was still working with Allison, and uh, we did a uh, a home. You know, at that time, a lot of these, uh, a lot of the, there were a lot of incentives from, you know, the, the stimulus package fueled a lot of incentives for new construction or renovations and swapping out old HVAC systems. So. We would, uh, you know, we got a lot of calls for those kinds of things, and we would do manual J load calculations and to help them get a rebate. Uh, and then eventually, it it turned into more of a uh, we want a whole house. People were starting to, the economy was starting to do better, and they they said, you know, we want something from scratch, and we want to we want to. They realized with their research, they realized that uh, they could have a house that was uh, that used less energy, was more comfortable lower maintenance, uh, lasted a lot longer, and uh, it didn't have to be an above ground basement with a single window. It could actually look look really nice and didn't have to be, didn't have to look like anything other than just, uh, just any other home out there. Uh, so the first, the first home that we, um, oh, and then we'll get into uh, sort of the science stuff just a little bit, just to so, sort of show you how we got to where we are today, understanding Things like thermodynamics, uh, hydrothermics, which is, uh, we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, and then designing the perfect wall. Once you understand these principles, coming up with an assembly that works uh, basically anywhere in the world. Uh, then, and with that perfect wall, you're going to have a wall, or a perfect wall, roof, and floor. And so you, continuity is absolutely critical, uh, and which leads to, and uh, the the topic of air tightness, which means, I mean, it's this is one of the after bulk water control, air tightness is absolutely the um, number one, or the it's the number two control layer, so it's it's critical. And then why we're why we do it and how we do it, 
and then so we'll go through a few of our projects to show how we did how we went about it some tips and tricks and some of the, the challenges opportunities that we had and the successes as well thanks for watching this video for your convenience we've loaded up the next video as part of this series if you enjoyed this video give chris and dan a thumbs up